Stanford and Alabama set to meet for the fourth time ever. The first time in seven years the Crimson Tide have won the previous seven matchups. Isaiah Williams is a special talent, great size, the ability to play on the perimeter, can still mix it up on the interior. But as you mentioned, the highest rated uh, recruit ever at Stanford, the number eight player in the country, according to ESPN, Paul Biancardi, in our group. And Zaire is a program changer. I'm not sure how long he'll be at Stanford, but for the time he is at Stanford, he opens things up to Jared Has going out and getting other elite level players. Important for him to be successful, but you see Jared has talked about the most talented guy he's seen, and he's coached at UNC. Canceled. So they have yet to play a game. This is their opener. We see early the touch talking about Williams. One of the things for him, offensively, he's going and he's giving them that opportunity. Cover your ears, Alabama fans, but he told us yesterday, he was asked, who's your favorite player? And the first words out of his areas where Stanford has to recognize when he catches it, he's dangerous from beyond that arc as well. Williams already with one three, give him two. Neither one really grazed the rim. It was all that both times. For Alabama, a freshman record, showing his ability to be able to get to the hole, not just a shooter. And that's one of the things that you normally work on over the summertime in a normal summer. And you have to go back and think about what Wimp Sanderson was able to do and the talent that they had. I mean, Jason Caffey was on that team who won rings with the Chicago Bulls. Roy Rogers. Who... Yeah, that's the book on Wills, his athleticism, his defense, all conference in that category a season ago. Williams sizing up another shot. The mid-range is there. Give him 13 in his level that Nate Oates is looking for for all five of his players to be able to make plays not only for themselves but their teammates part of the reason why they run the five out offense. Williams elbow jumper first points of the second half given 15 no that that doesn't sound or feel right considering LeBron just cut down the nets feels like a few days ago. Williams just go full LeBron. <laughs> not the Lakers. Looking like a Stanford North Carolina matchup tomorrow. And at this point, we've already seen Wills go out. It seems though he's getting some attention to that right calf, most likely a cramp, with a 24-point.